beautiful people. You are welcome to another Encounters with the Parsons, our daily devotional. Today is Tuesday, 13th July 2023, and the topic for today is Fire on the Altar. Fire on the Altar. The key text is taken from Leviticus 6, 12 to 13, and it says, and the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lay the burnt offering in order upon it. And he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offering. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar it shall never go out. Hallelujah. Background and thoughts on the text. In Africa, one of the effective and common tactics used when hunting is the use of fire to smoke out animals. In many African countries, hunting is an important aspect of rural life. Even in modern times, some groups such as the Bushmen of Southern Africa, depend almost entirely on hunting for essential protein and cash income. Wow. You can indeed learn a spiritual lesson from these hunting tactics. In the same way, these animals flee when a fire is applied Evil flees from your life when you are fired up through prayer. Evil flee away from you when you are fired up through prayer. The fire of the Holy Ghost burning in you through prayer flushes out every spiritual intruder. Wow. Hmm. So you need to pray. You need to pray consistently. Keep praying. Pray again and again and again. Hallelujah. The Bible says the Holy Ghost will thoroughly purge his floor and burn every chaff with unquenchable fire. Matthew 3 verse 12. Your body is his temple which he continually cleanses to read it's of every chaff. And just as the fire burns continually in the Jewish temple, the fire of prayer is meant to be burning continually in you. The fire of prayer is meant to burn continually in you. So you are expected to pray every day, again and again. Prayer does a lot of things for you. Prayer equips you. Prayer charges you up. Prayer gives you the boldness to face life. That's the truth. Hallelujah. Application. Like firewood, fire is activated through laying up the wood of the word. Prayer and fasting. And as the fire begins to burn, those kinds, Jesus said, do not go out except through prayer and fasting. Okay, Jesus said this type, rather, do not go out except through prayer and fasting. Afflictions that refuse to purge, such as besetting sins, evil habits, and reoccurring afflictions and diseases, we flee out of their hiding places, to be destroyed by the fire. When you are always on fire through prayer, there will be no more room for demonic activities. When you make your life a fire house, <laughs> I love that. When you make your life a fire house, not a house that is without fire, how do you do it? It's prayer. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, the enemy will have no hiding place when you make your life a fire house. You will become too hot to handle. You will become 
too hot to handle. That means prayer keeps you, uh, I, I don't even know what to say again, but there's something prayer does to you as, as a Christian, as a child of God. Devil cannot easily oppress you. He cannot easily afflict you because part time you become so sensitive to whatever he's doing or he's intending to do. Hallelujah. Okay. Ensure that the fire on your altar burns constantly. Ensure that the fire on your altar burns constantly. Whether you feel like praying, pray. You don't feel like pray. Prayer is not a choice. It's something you have to do. Okay? It's something you have to do. Hallelujah. Amen. So right now, you're going to lift up your right hand. We'll pray together. Say, Oh Lord, please grant me the grace to pray without ceasing. May the fire of the Holy Spirit continually burn up every chaff of diseases and spiritual weaknesses and purify me for the manifestation of your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So before I conclude this, I want you to put your hand, anyone watching me right now, that you know that your prayer life has gone down or you have inability to pray. I just want to place your hand on your belly as I pray with you. Because one of the things that I know from my man of God, Pastor George Izunwa, is that prayer is our ministry. And as I pray for you right now, that spiritual capacity for prayer will come up on you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, wherever you're watching from right now, I decree and I declare for whoever believing God, for his or her spiritual life, for his or her prayer life to come alive, I decree and I declare by the unction and by the help of the ministry of my father in the Lord, Pastor George Zuma, I declare let your prayer life come alive now in the name of Jesus. I speak speak to you let your prayer hunger be intensified now in the name of Jesus Christ amen okay so action points rekindle the fire on your altar speak in tongues for at least 5 minutes speak in tongues for at least 5 minutes Wow, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for listening and thank you for doing this with us. Do not forget, it will always come to you again and again. So do it to connect via Life Center Network. And my name is Glory Chuko. Bye for now. There are men that rise by level. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man held by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. To encounter a God that answers prayer. To encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today, your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Oh, yes, I'm a Is it Chimo? Oh, Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails. 